This morning, Kids Who Make San Antonio Great is about faith, gratitude, and the spirit of an entire school. The San Antonio Christian School rallied behind a football player battling a bacterial attack on his brain, and he emerged with the mother of all homecoming memories. Yeah, Marvin Hurst has his story. Inside the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, the story of Grace and Russell is connected to these empty chairs and seats. This starts nearly 17 miles away, where he's a student at the San Antonio Christian School. He's a defensive back who had no defense for what suddenly happened to him after their first football game in 2018. I had bacterial meningitis. It took a bevy of visits to the doctor to determine his case was rare and pretty severe. The bacteria in my mouth somehow got to my brain. They don't know what caused it. I had a hole in my throat. They eventually determined he had at least 13 abscesses covering every region of his brain. His family, friends, and schoolmates weren't sure if he'd make it. His coach, who is an athletic director, came up with a battle cry. Just had the idea of taking two loves of this family, their love for, for Auburn athletics and, and their love for, for Sachs athletics. War Lion was born. The spirit to rise up and overcome. Donate a t-shirt, spread the message, and help defray the medical bills. The Sachs community lifted up pressing prayers and extended their faith because the doctors weren't really reassuring. We just don't know what it is, but we know it's bad. And you just don't ever think that you're going to hear that as a parent. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. When he got to the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, prayers were answered. Grayson, a sophomore at the time, was on the mend during a month-long hospital stay. Doctors even fixed the hole in his throat so that he could eat. But there was one more fix in the making. When you're, all your friends are about to having to go to homecoming and you're having to sit there, and not be able to participate in it. Why not give part of homecoming and go to him? His friends and their parents brought a high school homecoming to him. If I was in that situation, I would want my friends to do that for me. His friends dressed up in their homecoming finery. I just wanted to show him how much that, you know, I love him and um, how much he means to me. And in a hospital cafeteria. I think the takeaway is that God has a plan for everything and you can use something that during the moment seems like why is this happening but he can turn it into good empty tables and chairs turned into the homecoming that went beyond they'll be friends for life because they were with me through my struggles and it was just amazing to feel loved like that if you hunger for the spirit of friendship this table was set with enough to make your heart full hands held heads bowed freddy's burgers on the table Chosa Cafeteria, and that was the best homecoming ever. I guarantee you that no student that was there will ever forget that one. Marvin Hurst, Kins 5, Eyewitness News. Now, Grayson played the entire football season this year and says he was just thrilled to have a homecoming outside of the hospital. Right. Imagine mm. how much that meant to the whole family. So if you have a story for Marvin about an outstanding kid, make sure to send him an email at greatkids at kens5.com and to be able to help with the medical bills. I mean, that is just well, huge be relief because they're right? already dealing with everything else, yeah. you know. So, wow, that's awesome job, you guys. Yeah, really.